wonderful person welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you are new please subscribe whether you're new or not please smash the like button today we're going to be creating an acceptance talisman so we're not actually going to be like making anything but we're going to be like doing spell work manifestation and just making like a piece of jewelry that we already have or something along the lines of that into our acceptance talisman. So this is for like if you're in the broom closet or like the closet closet or if you just need um, more acceptance like at work or school, you know, like if you get bullied or if you have something that you want to share with your loved ones but you're worried of getting rejection or negative responses. This spell will instill confidence in you and banish anxiety and improve your reception of your situation. All right, you know what to do. Okay, so the best time to perform this spell is on a Monday or during a new moon. It doesn't have to be, but it helps. I'd say it doesn't hurt it if it's not, but it does help if it is. The things we're going to need are a piece of jewelry, such as a necklace or a ring. While I'm doing this, I'm actually going to do a couple things at once because, like, we're going to have a whole ass candle. We're going to have enough, okay? So I'm going to do um, one of my rings. I didn't decide yet. I want to do this one because it has a crystal, but it's kind of like big, you know, so I might not want to wear it to like auditions where maybe I would wear this one. Maybe not. It's kind of big too. I don't know. I'll think about it. it. It's not a big deal. I can always do this again if I need to, but um, maybe I'll just do my necklace. That is the crystal that attaches to the crystal on my wand, Um, you know, like broom closet and whatnot and I think I will also do this which I made which I'm going to be selling on my Etsy shop it is the seven chakras or rainbow like LGBTQ which is good for this acceptance talisman we're making right so this comes apart here so you can put it like on your rear view mirror in your car if your state doesn't have obstruction of view laws that are strict it has two quartz points and it is handmade and it shows so yeah there's two quartz and a star and a moon that will be on my etsy shop but i'm going to make this into an acceptance talisman while i am doing a piece of my jewelry as well to spread the love to whoever buys this piece here and Right, ingredients. So I have, you know, my piece of jewelry and then that talisman. One tablespoon of a carrier oil, such as olive oil, which I do happen to have. An orange pillar candle, which I have a chime candle. Good enough for me. One teaspoon of thyme one teaspoon of thyme and it's just like organic spices from the store organic herbs from the store whatever you want to call it and a lighter or matches well we have the lighter out hey It looks like if I don't want to get up to get another lighter, I better not use the butane up in that. All right, so that is all the ingredients. And of course, you're going to need somewhere um, to burn your candles. So I'm going to use my honey jar that we made in a previous video. It's still going strong. Okay. 
Oh, you know what? I have fire in my candles. So good. My bay leaves are uh, very close to my candle, by the way. Alright. So the first thing we're going to do is cleanse the altar. I'm going to use Paul Santo. You can use sage or Paul Santo. And I'm going to light that with my candle. So we're just cleansing the altar to get rid of any lingering energies and to, um, you know, create positive energy, make a positive circle. If you cast the circle before starting, it still helps to purify your air. Okay. We're good. And I'm going to just leave that chilling anyway. Now, okay, purify the piece of jewelry. So, before I leave that chilling, I have to purify the piece of jewelry. Forgot about that. Alright, so first, let's do this. Nice and good. So, whoever gets this piece of jewelry will be accepted when they are in the presence of this piece of jewelry and hopefully out of the presence of but um yeah this is going to be an acceptance talisman for whoever purchases it off of the etsy as well as reiki infused moon charge crystals and seven chakras rainbow with the moon and stars all right so this is purified and let's see what do I want to uh, these crystals on my necklace are purified and my ring is purified you know what Let's just do both of them in case the necklace doesn't work that well because it's on my neck. All right. It'll be fine. If you can feel the heat, you're getting purified. It's going to be my logo. Ugh, I love the smell of Palo Santo. It's so good. Now, you're going to use your pointer finger to anoint your candle with your carrier oil. So, the olive oil, if that's the carrier oil you chose, which was the one suggested. Olive oil. Um. Now, this called for a tablespoon of of olive oil and I do not think you need like that would be just like I might as well dip the whole candle in there you know so you want to don't get the oil in the wick um for a chime candle it doesn't matter that much but just try not to and you're going to start at the top of the candle and move down towards the base so you are um anointing the candle towards you to attract the acceptance towards you so I actually and I'm just going to stick this in here and then All right, that wasn't a great example, but uh All right, here is the carrot oil using my pointer finger and I am anointing it towards me. So as you move it towards you, say with this motion, I attract courage. Move your finger up the candle and say, with this motion, I banish anxiety. So when you go away, it's what you don't want. When you come towards you, it's what you do want. So move your finger away from you, up the candle. With this motion, I banish anxiety. With this motion, I attract courage. Move your finger back down the candle and say, with this motion, I enhance receptivity. All right, so you move the finger down towards you. With this motion, I attract courage. Away from you. With this motion, I banish anxiety. And towards you again. With this motion, I enhance receptivity. Now, sprinkle thyme on top of the candle. Right. 
even though I have uh, oil all over my hands. <laughs> Alright, so sprinkle the thyme on top of your candle. Alright, now that the candle is nice and dressed, we are going to put it on top of our honey jar because that's my candle holder. And hopefully it will just sit there without too much trouble. My God, I'm just going to try to sprinkle this excess, even though it's not going to come off, is it? It's so bad. Okay, now light your candle and meditate on it for five minutes about all that you want to achieve and manifest in your life and imbue the candle with your intentions. All right. <sighs> Let's do it. I think I'm out of butane. <sighs> Ouch. Yep. It's okay though. You know why? Because I have fire. So I'm going to light my Paul Santo. Bring it over to my flame. Okay, and I'm just going to meditate on the candle for five minutes about all that I want to achieve and manifest in my life. And I want to put all my intentions into this candle. All right, so we're focusing on the candle. We're just going to try to measure out five minutes here and meditate on this. After you've meditated on your flame for a couple minutes and got your intentions into it, you're going to move your jewelry through the flame or above the flame. You know, if it's something like this that you don't want to light on fire or rune or even metal jewelry, you know, you don't want to get it like all black. So I understand if you don't want to put it in the fire because I don't. So I'm just going to, you know, put it above just like how we purified it with the smoke from the Palo Santo. And as you pass the jewelry through the warmth of the flame, imbuing it with all the properties of your spell, you are going to say, With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. And now I'm going to put that ring on and this ring is all ready and I can now wear it to encourage acceptance. So now I'm going to do this ring. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. And now this one is ready to encourage acceptance. Let's see. I wanted to do these without taking them off my neck. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. See, these are easier because they're crystals, so they, like, absorb the warmth. But the same could be said about the clear quartz in this. So, with this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. With this motion, I imbue acceptance into this piece. Alright. 
Now, this piece is ready, and whoever purchases it from my Etsy will have the extra encouraging of acceptance. Just trying to get the little pieces of thyme off of it. So whoever buys this is going to write the review like, well, it's really nice, but it's kind of greasy, and there's some herbs on it. And not the von kind. All right, so that piece is ready to encourage acceptance. And then after your jewelry pieces are all finished, you can let your candle finish burning. You can extinguish it. It doesn't hurt to leave it burning unless you think you're going to use an already dressed candle for something else. Maybe if you want to do the same spell again it's kind of already set you can kind of just you know relight it and you don't have to do those steps again which like make more acceptance talismans that's so hard to say with a door knocker on your tongue <laughs> uh but um i'll pull you guys up to see real quick thank you so much for being here today guys i hope that this helped you out let me know in the comments. Thank you. Love you. Until next time.